Hello friends, I'm Dr. Pooja Kapoor, pediatric neurologist, director and co-founder Continua Kids. So, uh, wish you all uh, Api Raksha Bandhan for tomorrow and let us start our today's topic of discussion that is how to make my child who's got autism to have a good night's sleep. As we all know that all our children who have the diagnosis of autism have a lot of concerns over the sleep issues. So if we divide the sleep issues, we can uh, put it into two categories. The first category is initiation of sleep. That means once we start the sleep, that's called as initiation. So our children who have got autism, they have very hard time, at least 40 to 80 to sometimes 90% of the case reports are there where they have reported in the data that children have concerns of sleep initiation. So if you start putting the child to sleep at around 9.30, they will start going to sleep till 12 30 or 1 so the initiation of sleep takes hours and hours at times so we'll address this issue of ki if my child has concerns with sleep initiation what we have to do the other concern associated with sleep is sleep continuation that means if my child goes to sleep but after two, three hours, they will get up for a while, maybe for a minute, maybe for 10 minutes, maybe for one hour. They will cry, shriek, laugh, play, smile or do some sensory phenomena for n number of minutes, two hours and then they will sleep. So if he gets up at around 2 a.m. in the morning, and he may go to sleep by 4 or 3 or 2.15 and then again he'll get up by 8 or 8.30 whatever his timing uh, is. So that is called a sleep continuation. To start with, once we have seen that once you start the child with occupational therapy, a lot of our children come back and say, Ki, ma'am, ye concern to sort out ho gaya so the child has started sleeping very well and so then this is sorted so because there is an association of sensory needs with sleep so what we have to do is if my child has concerns with sleep talk to your occupational therapist and tell them ki my child has concern with sleeping and give me some exercises or uh, let's start with the occupational therapy or sensory integration and check out whether there is the sol uh, where this uh, sleep concerns are sorted or not sorted. To tell you some few features where which you have to do in every child who has concerned sleep problem and even to some extent to our normal children also. So that is called as sleep hygiene. So what a sleep hygiene is? So before you ha first of all put up a scheduled time for sleep, it has to be a very fixed time every day. Suppose if you are going to sleep, you have marked it that by 9.30 we'll take him to the bed. So make sure whether this is a weekday or it's a weekend or whatever it is, make sure that you put in the habit regularly of putting the child to sleep at a fixed time. So every day so that he gets to know that, okay, this is the time when we have to go to sleep. So before going to sleep, suppose the time has been set at 9.30, before going to sleep, what we have to do? We have to do few things which are called as sleep hygiene. So the room in which the child is going to sleep should not have bright lights. So that because sometimes they may be attracted and once you have that light, you uh, tend to decrease in the production of melatonin hormone which is produced by the pineal gland of our body which when excreted start initiating the sleep. So as soon as we close our eyes, our 
pineal gland sets uh, gets the indication okay the person wants to sleep and melatonin is secreted and the moment the level of melatonin builds up we feel sleepy so if you have the light so that melatonin won't be secreted and then the child won't be able to sleep so make sure that the child when we are making him to sleep should be in a room where there are no bright lights second there should be no loud sounds because our children have sensory concerns so make sure that there are no loud sounds the rooms is well uh, in a corner of a place where you cannot uh, hear loud sounds third is that uh sometimes the child needs some soothing uh, auditory uh, sensory concerns that means you can play some music which is very soothing so if you google up the things and uh, type down uh, music to set us sleep so it will just play on the music they will take you to the uh, youtube musics which helps you to sleep which helps they are very soothing musics very soft slow vocal or instrumentals where you will feel like sleeping so if my child has concerns you can always use those musics or you can sing a uh, lori which you call as like you yourself can sing songs to the child so in the previous old age times we used to sing lori to our children and make them sleep so definitely this helps the child in initiation of sleep the third is make sure when the child is going to sleep you wash your wash the feet with light lukewarm water so that relieve the child of the stress if it's possible then you can take a bath also but if it's not possible before going to sleep what you can do you can take a tub fill it with light lukewarm water or maybe the tap water put the feet there lukewarm is much better than the tap water but if the child feels uncomfortable or if it's very warm outside then you can use normal tap water also put the feet there wash the feet and then take the child to the bed next is sometimes you have to give some warm again lukewarm milk to the child to initiate the sleep so make sure if you are giving milk to the child if the child is not on gfcf diet or casein free diet you can give milk and make sure that you brush the teeth after you give the milk again the milk has to be lukewarm because that also helps to relieve the stress the abdomen the 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 stomach would be full and that also helps in the initiation of sleep the next step could be that you may hug the child very tightly so or if you don't hug then you can put up very uh, heavy blankets around the child to make him sleep because our children need sometimes deep pressures or a warm hugging environment or a very cozy environment to sleep so you can just make the child sleep on yourself if the child is small or if the child is big enough then you can wrap him with some heavy blanket and put your hand above it so that he may feel cozy he may feel the pressure and that also helps the child to go to sleep make sure that the child is off mobile phone at least 2 hours before the set timing for the sleep suppose my child is going to sleep by 9:30 so by 7 o'clock onwards after you should not give the child any mobile because it is said the light produced by the mobile just stops interfere in the production of melatonin which is a sleep hormone and once it is interrupted it helps it disturbs the initiation of sleep so what you have to do is like make sure that you don't give mobile for at least 2 hours before the sleep the next is you don't give you don't have to have very strenuous or very heavy exercises just before sleeping so make sure if you want your child to play it is at least 2 hours before his sleeping time again by 7 o'clock the child should be at home you can let the child go to play or run or do the skating exercises or whatever physical exercises you want to do with the child make sure it's done at least uh, one and a half to 2 hours before because if you are doing the exercises 
the child may become more alert and so they should not be very much near to the time of his sleep okay so these are the things which helps you in the initiation of sleep suppose you uh, are yeah, make sure that at times that ac beep that light that comes from the ac that green light when the ac is on sometimes the children our children gets very irritated by that light also they get fixated if they have visual sensory phenomena they get fixated to that light make sure you put a small uh, you know just cover up that light so that they don't get fixated towards that light or sometimes you have very small lights which are there and our children can get fixated towards that light that night lamps or something like that make sure that the room is very even if if it's lit it has to be very dimly lit and there's no bright light there okay and you may believe that sometimes our children are very very cautious and they may get stimulated even with the small light which is coming from that maybe from the television the red light that small dot light which is coming up or the ac green light if it's on okay so make sure that you cover up with a tape or something which is transparent paper so that the light does not come out so so these are the things by which you can initiate the sleep suppose if everything of it fails you have a good room it's a cozy room it's not very hot the bed is very comfortable it's not hot there are no mosquitoes there are no sounds you're giving milk before that you have washed the feet you have put up a very good music you are hugging tightly the child you are singing auditory lori or things like that again if the child is not going to sleep make sure then you start you can start with the medication and mind it there is one very good medication which helps in the initiation of sleep and that is called as melatonin so melatonin is uh, uh, the hormone which i told you is uh, put up by the our pineal gland it is also commercially available now and it is in fact sold over the counter medicine in western countries you can give that and uh, it's easily available and it is non addictive medication so it's not something like a sleep medication it's like you are deficient in something so it is well studied and well proven studied thing that our children who got autism have very low level of melatonin and their melatonin hormone is not at par whatever as compared to the normal peer age group so it's very easy and it should be given if it's deficient that please don't uh, if your doctor has prescribed mel melatonin to be given make sure that you give the medication because it is non addictive medication it does not cause any side effects you it is available in a syrup form also it's available in a tablet form also so 5 ml is equal to 3 mg you can go to the doctor ask for the prescription and you can build up like you can start with 5 you can go to 15 that means 9 mg 15 ml or 9 mg depending on the child you have to just go and ask to your doctor and please don't be uh, very stubborn ki i don't want to give the medicine but if you have tried up all the initial steps which i have told you and still my child is not sleeping make sure you can use this medicine and it's a good medicine to be used and it is non harmful with no side effects so uh why we are just putting a lot of stress for all these things is for the good night sleep because you know a uh, tomorrow day the day after if i don't have a good night sleep my day next day would be ruined maybe maybe so so you may may show meltdowns he may have temper tantrums the next day he may be very irritable because he did not have a good night sleep so this you can understand if you don't have a good night sleep the very next day you feel you are not full of energy you don't feel like doing work so make sure that the child have good night sleep and he sleeps well for at least 8 hours and also one more thing so there are a lot of children lot of parents which make the child go to sleep in the afternoons so they take like naps for hours and hours 3 hours 4 hours make sure if you want to give an afternoon nap maybe after the therapy the child feel very drowsy and he wants to sleep it's okay you can make the child sleep for at least 
a minimum of one to two hours, but not beyond, like three hours and four hours. Obviously, if the child would be sleep for hours together in the afternoon, he may not sleep early at night, and so the morning schedule may go off. So make sure that you schedule the timing so that my child gets up at an appropriate time so that he may take in the classes. You can do therapy with the child. Suppose he goes to sleep by twelve thirty or one o'clock. You are also awake, and he gets up at like again ten thirty. So, like two hours, early hours, where you can really work with the child would get wasted without any, without doing any work. So, if he sleeps by nine thirty, if he sleeps for at least ten hours, again he is he he can get up by seven thirty, and he would be good to go, good to work with, and he will be fresh for that period of time. So, make sure that the afternoon naps are not very long. Also, if the child has good physical exercise in the day, then also the child would have good sleep at night automatically. So make sure that the child has good physical exercise, good occupational therapy, good sensory integration. You have you also have done deep pressures and all to make the child's uh, better. Okay. So these are the things for initiation of sleep and uh, for uh, putting up a good sleep. and please don't mind please don't uh, make sure that you can give medication don't hesitate in putting the medication because it's easily available and it's very helpful now next comes the continuation of sleep now continuation of sleep so if the problem is with the continuation of sleep suppose you give the melatonin he goes to sleep in next half an hour so melatonin takes half an hour to get the child to sleep suppose if you give it 9:30 you want the child to go to sleep by 10 so in next half an hour he would go to sleep but for the continuation of sleep that's a very tricky phenomenon because melatonin does not help a lot in the continuation of sleep so what helps in continuation so all the previous things which i have told you the sleep hygiene and running and making less time for afternoon nap really helps in the continuation of sleep and we have seen that doing good occupational therapy in the day also helps in the continuation of sleep suppose the child gets up by at 2 o'clock at in the morning he goes to sleep by 10:30 gets up at 2:30 again and now he is not going to sleep for another 2 to 3 hours then there you can reuse melatonin again because again i want to induce the sleep but suppose if the child is going to sleep by 10:30 gets up at 2 and by 2:15 he goes to sleep then you can use deep pressures you can use blankets you can make your child if it's a small child to lie on your chest do some vestibular sing some auditory and then the child would go to sleep because in this case melatonin does not help you because it's if it goes to sleep in next 15 minutes you can do other stuff but if he takes a longer duration of time to go to sleep you can reuse or you can use melatonin at that part of time because again in the initiation of sleep so uh one very important point which has come up is that because we are picking up a uh, autism at a very early stages and we are looking at that children as young as 2 month are very cranky they don't go to sleep sometimes the parents have to put them uh in their laps and just have to sing the lories and give this vestibular help them like move them like this take them to jhula and then they go to sleep so over here and later we find out that these children have autism like features so once we go to the history a lot of our parents who have been diagnosed whose children have been diagnosed with autism later in life have found out to have a uh, a difficult sleep in the initiation bole ma'am yes ne mujhe raat ko sone bhi nahi diya throughout the nights we were awake in the infancy period that means from 2 month onwards to 1 year or 1 and a half year till that time the sleep was a continuation continuous problematic thing so make sure that you keep a very strong vigil if my child has these concerns at a very early age so make sure that you look into the other developmental milestones of that child in a very 
you know keep a very strict watch watch on that because if the sleep concerns are there i'm not saying always and always you could have later autism spectrum disorder or the child may have autism like features but the child may turn out to have autism like features so make sure if the child has sleep concerns in the early neonatal or uh, early infancy period to keep a strict watch on the milestones especially the social and communication milestones so that we can pick up the child very early and then we can start with the therapy very early and we can get the early intervention done and make the child do very well later in life so again the take home message is sleep is a very important constituent don't ignore it uh, whatever steps whatever i've told you do that those are sleep hygiene things if you are not able to get through that the child is still not sleeping make sure to give the medication and if it is associated with a lot and a lot of sensory phenomena then definitely you have to go to a specialist to if the melatonin also is not helping you to go to sleep then that child comes under the domain of a very important specialist and that we have to give some other medication which i don't want to discuss on this forum because that's a very special medicine and that has to be used only under the expert guidance of a professional who would help you out in initiation as well as continuation of sleep but make sure whatever i have told you all these things that you do and then if the child does not sleep then obviously you have to go to a specialist to ask for further things okay because there may be certain other concerns which is not letting the child to sleep and then maybe some ear infection maybe some throat infection maybe some colic maybe some hip dislocation maybe anything anything but then you have to go to the specialist to look in for okay because then it's not uh in today's uh thing to discuss all those things in this uh today's uh, webinar okay so i think i have made the point clear that initiation and continuation of sleep is very very important and uh, today i'm not going to take a lot of question let me just see if there are questions and uh, but all those which i think would be good enough because since last we have been seeing a lot of irrelevant questions have been put up just giving only one symptoms and telling us our uh, inputs which does not make any sense so let me see if we could get some we are getting some relevant questions we can discuss okay so how many of them okay so four five we can go through them so we are getting this first question from nilofar munir my son can speak clear like how many eggs what's going on it's a potato he doesn't have vocabulary problem but communication is he is four year please can you suggest how can i help to communicate so that means nilofar if language hasn't developed social communication language has not developed because you know he is very much telling his intelligence so your child is intelligent because he can tell you how many eggs are there what it is what is going on but if he is not able to have a social communication definitely you have to put the child in a start putting the child in school so what we are doing is we are uh we are telling a lot of our children who have got a uh, few words vocabulary very decent contextual vocabulary but are not speaking or not using socially social words or are not using sentences because schools right now are closed but what we can do is like aap jahan pe bhi rehte hain wherever you are staying just make sure that you have one or two children around and you can call those children to your home and you become the therapist of your child and start initiation uh, start initiating communication or social vocabulary with the child because you know you cannot induce social communication single handedly all alone you have to have a another child or 
some other person to initiate and this is not a one day process just keep your patience and start initiate start initiating your social vocabulary by taking the help of one or two children call them regularly for 2 hours and then initiate those social communication words i'll give you an example ki jo start with group therapy chalo hum ye khelte hain चलो ये इसको इधर रख दो आप इससे इसका नाम पूछो आप बताओ आपका नाम क्या है अरे आप कितने अच्छे लग रहे हो आपने ये कपड़े पहने हुए इसका कलर क्या है आपने ये कपड़े कहाँ से खरीदे आप जो है मेरे साथ खेलोगे सो यू नो यू टेल योर चाइल्ड टू स्पीक टू अदर चाइल्ड टू ऑल दीज क्वेश्चन एंड लेट सी हाउ द अदर अदर पर्सन आंसर्स एंड एज द चाइल्ड अदर पर्सन आंसर्स You can again put words into your son's uh, vocabulary कि आप भैया को ये बोलो इस क्वेश्चन का आंसर ये दो सो यू नो दैट इज द इनिशिएशन ऑफ द वोकेबलरी एंड सोशल वर्ड्स सो यू कैन जस्ट स्टार्ट विद सोशल थिंग्स एंड एवरी टू डे एवरी टू आवर्स लाइक स्टार्ट विद दिस एंड यू कैन बिल्ड अप बिकॉज राइट नाउ आर स्कूल्स आर क्लोज बट योर चाइल्ड डेस्परेटली नीड सोशल कॉम्युनिकेशन सो यू कैन ट्राई ऑल दीज टेक्निक्स एट होम so there's no medication which is there but definitely this is going to help you a lot so uh shubha i think you have already told me what your son is going back so i think shubha you have to show me again because there is a long story which you have told me one year back i just cannot recall whatever happened one year back so you have to show me again if you are here only at gurgaon or delhi if you have shown me one year back so you can show definitely uh, so that we can discuss all in detail and uh, I think this is not a platform where we discuss all these things. Uh, bridge, kindly also speak in Hindi. Uh, it's already too late. I've already spoken. Smita, my daughter is three year three month. She is telling her needs through words. She is potty trained, but she is not questioning. Sleeping well. she answers if she asked her name is that any worry definitely uh you a uh, 3 years 3 month she is not questioning a child of 3 year 3 month should question because that is what helps in the initiation of your curiosity and building up the vocabulary if my child is not questioning uh how would how would i how would she learn जब हम क्वेश्चन करते हैं तभी तो हम सीखते हैं क्योंकि अगर वो क्वेश्चन ही नहीं करेगी तो वो जानने की कोशिश ही नहीं करेगी कि क्या हो रहा है शी आंसर्स इफ शी इज आस्ट हर नेम सो नोइंग नेम इज नॉट गुड फॉर अ थ्री ईयर थ्री मंथ थ्री ईयर थ्री मंथ शुड टॉक नाउ सो प्लीज मेक श्योर आई थिंक जैसा कि जो है मैंने अभी जो है बात करी फॉर नीलोफर सन सो आई थिंक यू शुड ऑल्सो डू द सेम थिंग uh you should also make sure because 3 years 3 months pe if she is just giving uh, her name response is not enough i should have a child who is speaking now sentences so make sure that she starts speaking sentences make sure that she uh has a social communication definitely uh as i've told you ek koi group therapy organize karo roz apne ghar mein with some two or three children three would be too much maybe two children so that the initiation of communication starts yes this is to worry about you should worry on that and not in fact just worry make sure that you do something for this please my child is diagnosed with uh my child is diagnosed with mild autism asad ahmed works on she walks on toes and we got stomach infection irritated she is 3 and a half just a second she does not speak okay and she has been diagnosed with mild autism so aap jahan par bhi hain so jo hai jahan par diagnose hua hai to please baat kariye unse what therapy you have to take 
whether this is occupational therapy you have to take whether you have to take aba therapy so please get started because uh, 3.5 years ke ho chuke hain hum aur abhi jo hai humne baat karna shuru nahi kiya hai aur diagnosis bhi ban chuki hai please don't wait i cannot tell you that it is like you have to start with ot or aba maybe jahan pe bhi diagnosis hui hai aapki आप वहां बात करिए कि क्या है कितने सेंसिटिव फिनोमिना है वट इज द गुड थेरेपी यू हैव टू स्टार्ट बट प्लीज स्टार्ट विथ थेरेपी प्लीज तन में मैम माई सन इज थ्री एंड हाफ इयर्स ही स्पीक्स ओनली नीड बेस्ड बट ही इज हमिंग रायम्स समटाइम्स ओनली वर्ड एंड समटाइम्स इन सेंटेंसेस शुड बी वरिड आप लोग वरी मत करिए काम करिए 3.5 years only words need based no i am not happy and i will not worry i'll start working so ye jitne bhi questions abhi aa rahe hain i think all our children of 3 and 3 and a half years so sabki wahi concerns hai so make sure that please ek school type environment bana ke social gathering karke apne bacche ka khud therapist ban ke jo hai initiate kariye group play this is the take home message please do it don't worry do it okay निकी निकी इज टेलिंग माय मेरा बेटा बहुत एक्टिव है बट नींद बहुत कम लेता है नाइट में भी बहुत जागता है ब्रेस्ट फीड ले रहा है एज टू प्लस है क्या मुझे मेडिसिन देनी चाहिए सो so, बहुत कम का क्या मतलब है आठ घंटे नहीं सो रहा है तो जस्ट शो टू अ डॉक्टर वेदर दिस इज कहीं एडीएचडी का कुछ कॉम्पोनेंट तो नहीं हो रहा है हाइपर एक्टिव तो नहीं है पहली चीज तो ये करिए कि जो उसका टीवी मोबाइल बंद कर दीजिए उसको भगाइए दौड़ाइए दोपहर में ताकि जो है वो अच्छे से थक जाए एंड और अगर नहीं है देन यू शुड डेफिनेटली शो टू अ डॉक्टर बिफोर पुटिंग इम टू ऑन मेडिकेशन एंड बहुत कम का क्या मतलब है हाउ मेनी आवर्स इज बहुत कम सो असद इज सेंग दैट वी आर ऑलरेडी डूइंग ओ टी एंड स्पीच सो दैट इज ग्रेट असद so let's work on this child karo ye sara kaam and then get back ki kya result aa rahe hain achhi baat hai that you have started it so good supreet mera beta 3.6 years ka hai uska eeg abnormal aaya hai ot speech chal rahi hai mild autism hai so agar eeg abnormal aaya hai then show to a pediatric neurologist to find out ki kitna abnormal hai तो कई बार 30 टू 40 परसेंट ऑफ द चिल्ड्रेन हु डायग्नोज विद ऑटिज्म गेट अब नॉर्मल ई बट इसका मतलब ये नहीं है कि उसको दवाई देनी है वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट व्हाट इज द कॉज ई क्यों करवाया था क्या बहुत ज्यादा जो है रिग्रेशन की हिस्ट्री थी क्या सीजर्स आए थे और कितना खराब ई है सो दैट विल डिसाइड ऑन वट वी हैव टू डू बिकॉज विदाउट दैट वी वोट बी एबल टू की क्या करना है इस ई का okay if the eeg has come up normal please show to the next bird show to a pediatric neurologist they'll sort this out ki kya karna hai us eeg ka bhi bilkul bhi nahi bolta hai behra kara liya hai okay report nikki so show to a doctor okay because agar two years ka ho gaya hua hai bolta bilkul bhi nahi hai theek se sota bhi nahi hai to please show to a doctor An expert to find out कि अभी क्यों नहीं बोल रहा है बिकॉज और इतना हाइपर क्यों है नींद क्यों कम लेता है जस्ट फाइंड आउट दिस आई विल नॉट सिट विद दिस ओके नीदर विल आई गेट वर इट शो टू अ डॉक्टर एंड गेट बैक की क्या कारण है एंड ट्रीट दैट कारण ए एस ए पी सुप्रीत मैम मेरा बेटा थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स अच्छा एपिलेक्स मेडिसिन चल रही है नहीं आई जस्ट कैन नॉट कॉमेंट ऑन दिस सुप्रीत कि जो है क्या कर सकते हैं क्या नहीं बिकॉज आई डोंट नो द ई जी आई डोंट नो द चाइल्ड विदाउट लुकिंग एट द चाइल्ड आई शुड आई एम नॉट द आई कैन नॉट गिव कॉन्सल्टेशन लाइक दिस बेटा दिस इज रॉन्ग एपिलेक्स दे कि नहीं मैम बहुत का कहना है कि नहीं देनी चाहिए इन बहुत सारे में अगर कोई डॉक्टर है तो प्लीज उसकी बात सुनिए और अगर नहीं है तो प्लीज इट इज आई थिंक व्हाट्सएप वाले डॉक्टर्स जो हैं ना व्हाट्सएप पे ना फेसबुक पे ऐसी सलाह लेनी चाहिए और ना ही ऐसी सलाह देनी चाहिए दिस इज अ वेरी क्रिटिकल थिंग 
I'm playing. I'm I'm dealing with a life. I'm dealing with a child. So please, ये Facebook पे सलाह लेना और देना छोड़ दीजिए. Get to the expert and get it treated. कि करना क्या है. Okay. निकी सुबह नौ बजे उठता है इवनिंग को पांच नो निकी बिकॉज माई चाइल्ड इट्स नॉट जस्ट स्लीप यू ऑलरेडी टोल्ड मी कि जो है आ बच्चा जो है बोलता भी नहीं है अभी दो साल का हो गया है सो प्लीज शो टू अ डॉक्टर कंसल्ट ओके शो टू अ पीडियाट्रिक न्यूरोलॉजिस्ट या ताकि जो है वो पता करे कि क्या प्रॉब्लम हो रही है एंड देन गेट बैक कि क्यों उसको सॉर्ट आउट कैसे करा जाए ओके मैम शुड वी स्टार्ट ओ I already put into play school. Tanmay, 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 Tanmay. Ka jo hai question kya tha? Three points five. Speak need based. Oh yes, you have to put to OT also because humming rhymes hai all times. So it's not just school. Or school me usko kuch samaj me nahi aayega. Maine school ka yahan matlab kya bola hai? Kali do ya teen bache ho, ek therapist ho jo group play karaye. खाली स्कूल में भेजकर पता नहीं बच्चा लॉस्ट ना हो जाए सो मेक श्योर खाली आपने स्कूल भेज दिया तो बच्चा ठीक नहीं होगा यू हैव टू मेक श्योर उसका रिजल्ट आ रहा है कि नहीं यू हैव टू फॉलो एंड ऑल्सो जो है ओटी करानी है क्योंकि हमिंग है क्या पता हमिंग ऑडिटरी सेंसरी फिनोमिना हो विच आई डोंट नो सो एंड डोंट गेट वर्ड इफ यू आर इन कोलकाता कोलकाता इज सच अ बिग प्लेस यू गेट ओ टी एवरी नुक एंड कॉर्नर मेक श्योर दैट गेट द असिस्मेंट डन सेंसरी फिनोमिना है तो वो डील करो और स्कूल भी अगर डाल रहे हो आई डोंट नो कि स्कूल खुल गया है आपके छोटे बच्चों का कि नहीं अगर नहीं खुला है तो आप थेरेपिस्ट बन के दो बच्चों के बीच में ग्रुप प्ले स्टार्ट करो जैसा स्कूल में होता है एक्टिविटीज करानी शुरू करो एंड कॉम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स बिल्डअप करो ओके Keshav, my niece can't able to speak clearly when it come to speak a whole sentence, but she can speak the same word in parts. I don't know the age. I don't know anything. I cannot answer this question. Rohit, my three-year-old son is diagnosed with moderate autism. Started OT twice a week. He produce sign like a ka ka frequently. Sitting is also poor. Two days a week is very less of OT. Make sure that you do justice with the child. So by doing OT, we are giving sensory diet. Two hafte me two bar is too less. Agar apko lagta hai ki ab bahut dure hain OT therapist se, then learn the OT techniques and then do it at home regularly. Because dekhi three years ho rahe hain. Please thoda zada kariye. Tab jaldi bacha thik hoga. Hafte me two din is too small as OT to be done. Keshav, her age is eight years. So by eight years, if she is not able to speak clearly, please show to a specialist. No, no. If she can speak the same word in parts, no. By eight years, a child has to be fluent. चार साल का बच्चा storytelling शुरू कर देता है. मैं यहाँ गया था, उसने मुझको ये किया, मैंने उसको ये किया. अब तो हमारा बच्चा आठ साल का हो गया है. So what I'm waiting for? This is not a time to wait. Please pata kariye ki kyo jo hai wo itna aise bol pa rahe hain. Karan janne ki koshish kariye. Speech delay hai, intelligence ki problem hai. Kya concerns hai? Please show to the doctor Keshav. This is too big a age to keep the child like this at home. Okay. So I think I've answered all the questions, and again, wishing you a happy Raksha Bandhan for tomorrow, guys. Please do something for your children. Don't sit on your children and make sure that you don't get worried. Worry nahi karo, kam karo. Kam karne se definitely, definitely, definitely result milta hai. No effort is ever wasted. बिकॉज आपके सबके बच्चे छोटे छोटे से हैं नीड बेस्ड वर्ड्स आ चुके हुए हैं बट डोंट सिट ऑन दैट कि बस नीड बेस्ड वर्ड्स आ गए अब आगे तो हम कुछ नहीं करेंगे आगे भी करना पड़ेगा बिकॉज इतने खाली नीड बेस्ड वर्ड्स पे हम खत्म नहीं करेंगे आगे बढ़िए बच्चों को जो है मुझे भी पता है कि स्कूल बंद है बहुत दिक्कतें आ रही है बट खाली जो है वरी करने से नहीं होगा 
कोई आस पास पड़ोस के दो बच्चे लेकर आप खुद जो है थेरेपिस्ट बनिए और दीजिए ग्रुप प्ले थेरेपी उनको जैसे जैसे ग्रुप प्ले थेरेपी देंगे ये जो नीड बेस्ड वर्ड्स वाले बच्चे हैं हमारे छोटे छोटे वाले ये सब आगे बढ़ते चले जाएंगे ओके सो आई थिंक वी विल एंड अप ओवर हेयर एंड मेक श्योर दैट यू हेल्प योर चाइल्ड डोंट वरी एंड स्टार्ट हेल्पिंग योर चाइल्ड दे विल डेफिनेटली इम्प्रूव विद योर हेल्प ओके गुड नाइट टेक केयर लव यू ऑल ओके